Everyone is gonna love this. But obviously a lot more affordable because we like affordable around here. You don't want your whole bum out. I wasn't sure at the beginning if I loved it or hated it. But I don't think you're ready for this. But it's the details for me. And they're obviously cheaper than the Chanel ones. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, at large request, everyone has been asking, what did you get from Tory Burch? What did you get from Tory Burch? If you don't know, I went there the other day on a huge shopping spree and got loads of bits and bobs. And I just wanted to show it with you because they do have some amazing pieces. Like I went in and I hadn't even seen these pieces before. I'm saying pieces, I don't want to give away what I'm going to show you, but I'm going to show you anyway. Um, as you can tell, I'm literally surrounded. It's like Tory Burch threw up on the bed. So let's get to it. I don't know what to start with. Maybe we'll do shoes first because yeah, the shoes are very, very good. Okay, so I do already have a pair of these trainers. Um, they're called the good luck trainer and I'll explain why. Um, but I now have them in a different pair. Um, I now have them in a different color. God, I can't talk today. So in the spirit of summer, I picked up these, which are absolutely unreal. When I tell you these are the comfiest trainers I have ever, ever, ever worn, I'm being completely honest. It's like you're walking on clouds and they're just so nice. Like from the top, like they're just so chunky They make the feet look small. And this is why they're called the good luck trainer because there's actually a wishbone on the bottom. How cool is that? But yeah, they are the first pair of shoes. Absolutely in love. Can't wait for those in the summer. I think they'll look really nice with that pair of denim shorts, little white top. They also come with different trainers um they also come with different laces so you can swap and change depending on how you're feeling okay so if you didn't know i have a couple holidays coming up um and that was my main reason for the shop so we've got some sliders oh my god i'm just in love they're so different and nice like look at they're like jellies and they're also like walking on clouds. They're squidgy. They're so, so nice. I'm thinking like poolside. Oh, yeah, just unreal. I love them. So, so nice. And I like the colours as well. So if you're wearing like a plain, plain outfit, this is something that will break up the colour, which is what I look for. I'm a very neutral girl normally, and I'm trying to be more out there with my colours. So that is why I chose them. I need to stop looking in this bag. Oh, actually, there's something in there. We'll wait for that. And then I picked up another pair of slides, which is so, so nice. Look at these. Oh, the shine. And do you know what? I've got really skinny, weirdly skinny feet. <laughs> so these are perfect because they're so slim. Like my foot literally just fits onto them perfectly. And they are comfortable as well. I haven't obviously tested them out on long walks, but... I just thought they're quite classy and they're quite nice with like a little dress that like if you don't want to put on heels, it's a bit hot on holiday. Sometimes I really can't be asked with heels as well. Um, I'm not really a heel girl. I try to be, but you know, on holiday, I like to just be comfortable. But they're like comfortable, but you can still look nice. And then last but not least, oh, I picked up these chunky cream sandals i think these are my favorite and they really 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 remind me of the is it the chanel's i think it's the chanel's but look at these sorry they've all got like stuff in them but i don't really want to ruin the shape but i'll show you how to obviously tori birch written there but it's the details for me and they're obviously cheaper than the Chanel ones. So who's got Chanel money? Let's be real. But um, yeah, I'm absolutely in love. So, so nice. Like if, even if like for a city break, when you're walking around, like you don't want to obviously be walking in hills or maybe if you don't want to wear trainers, you want to just wear a nice sandal. I just think these are perfect. They'll go over everything as well. 
They're just really cute and chunky and nice. I will literally be living in them on my holidays. So let's bring out my new, new baby. Oh, everything's falling everywhere. Okay. So I don't think you're ready for this. Like I said, I'm trying to bring more colour into my life and hopefully this will help. Oh my God. How nice is that? It has a little strap. Let me show you. It's also, no, I haven't taken it out because I just want to throw it straight in my case when I pack. I don't know if anyone else is like that. I am a sucker for trying things on though. Oh, so it has a little strap. Oh my God, imagine that just on holiday. It's just a little staple, I think. I'm in love with it. I think it's so, so nice. They do other colors as well. They've got like a pastel, um, purpley pink color, uh, which is all so, so nice. And they've obviously got the black and the whites that go with everything. But I just thought, do you know what? No, Sammy, you're not getting another black bag and you're not getting a white bag again. You are getting some colour in your life. It's summer. So that is what made me go for this, baby. Oh, I love it so much. It's so, so nice. It's not going to come off me on holiday. That bag in its rightful place. Okay, so now moving on to clothes. So I've got, um, obviously, the Tory Burch jumper that I put on my story the other day. Um, that'll be on my highlights now on um, the links. I'll make sure that's there. And also the white tracksuit, which I'm in love with. Um, what I haven't shown you guys, I actually have a navy gym set um, that I haven't actually taken a photo in or, or linked on any stories and stuff. But I got another gym set, which is basically similar, but um, the navy one's just got like a zip up top, but I'll show you. So, okay, so these are the leggings. This, these are, but this is basically a black version of what I have in navy. They've got that obviously the Tory Burch like detailing on the bottom. And when I tell you they are the softest leggings ever. They are, they're literally just such an amazing fit. It's ridiculous. Obviously you've got the Tory Burch sign there, which is cute. But no, they fit like an absolute glove. I will try and find a picture of me in the navy one and hopefully put it on my store on my Instagram so then you guys can see it. Um, and then also I got this black sports bra to go with. And like the leggings, got the sign on the back. It's just really cute. It's perfect. All right, who don't need a black gym set? But there's me talking about colour and then I go and get a black gym set. And then also these leggings, which are slightly different material. Um, the lady in the top and... I can't talk today. <laughs> the lady in the shop told me that um, these are more of a, like, a tighter fit. So they really suck you in and they're a bit thicker and you can feel it. They're a lot thicker. They're less silky than the other ones. Um, and same detail on the bottom, obviously a nice grey, always love a grey legging, and then they've got the detailing on the back as well. I have, I'm yet to try these on, but if they're thicker than these ones and they suck you in more, then God, it's going to be, it's going to be a good fit. So yeah, they are the gym sets that I got. I also got this beautiful shirt. I know it's very old school and I know it's probably you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it, but I do love it. Even on holiday, unbuttoned with a little black bikini, maybe a black bucket hat, just like cute, you know? And then even with like a pair of jeans or some nice black trousers, it's super silky and lovely and I just think it's like classic. It's really nice. So moving on. Okay. This is gonna be another, you either love it or you hate it. I wasn't sure at the beginning if I loved it or hated it. But then, okay, just this was my image in like, imagine you're in Italy or like the south of France or walking around Paris and like a little city break. And this is the skirt. Okay, so it's like a mid-length, pleated skirt with 
the Tory Burch detailing on it in green and obviously it's like a nude colour but I just thought how nice would that be with like a little top um maybe some little heels like a nice dinner I don't know tell me what you think because I, I, I don't know I think it's cute I think it's different you don't want to look the same do you know what I mean but yeah I just think this is also very classic a lot like the shirt um so yeah I just thought City break, they all look nice. Emily in Paris vibes, you know? Emily in Paris vibes. We'll save them till after. Oh, and then I also got these really cute toweling shorts. And I got the little Tory Burch sign on the back. So I got them in navy because why not? Really nice. Even like on holiday, it's like if you don't want to chill in a bikini, you just throw these on their towel material so they dry straight away. Like that's what they're for. And then I've got them in cream as well with the navy rim. Oh, I love them. I just think they're so cute. Even just to like chill around in. Like all inclusive result. You don't want to get dressed properly. Just throw these on and then go for lunch or dinner. So yeah, I just thought these were really cool. I'll show you them up close. You can see like the towel in material but yeah i got them also by the way i don't know the specific names of every single item but what i'm going to do is find every single thing and i'm going to link it in the description so you guys can just click and literally get wherever you want if you want it or see how much everything is and yeah so you can just do that yourselves um because i don't want to give you the wrong names and then you're like um sammy it's actually called something else and i'm like okay great or like i can't find it on the website because knowing me i'll probably give you a completely different name Okay, and then, obviously, go on holiday. This swimming costume. Oh, my God. With the crisscross back. It's ridiculous. Look at that. So, it's navy and white. Oh, I just love it. It's got padding here as well, which is great for the teeny tiny girls. <laughs> <laughs> that need no support whatsoever but maybe just a little boost um but yeah no, i absolutely love it it's got like really high waisted oh just so nice i'm not i don't want to do a try on so the reason why i'm not doing a try on is because i'm literally gonna wear all of this and i'm gonna take try and get really good photos and put them on my instagram so you'll see them there but i'm sure like on the links below when you click you'll see the models wearing them and stuff and you'll see exactly how it all fits but um yeah I don't want to ruin it, you know. I've got to give you something to wait for. So, yeah. Oh, and then another swimming costume, which is just the classic black one. I know I said about colour, but I'm trying my best. So this is like a plunge. Oh, am I holding it right? Yeah. So this is a plunge swimming costume. Um, and the bum has more coverage. So if you don't want your whole bum out on holiday, which sometimes, like, you don't want your whole bum out. Sometimes you're not feeling it. So this is perfect. And then it's got a really, really long wrap tie around the waist. So you can, like, wrap it round, wrap it round, really, really cinch yourself in. I love ones like that. It just gives an illusion that you're, I don't know, snatched. But, yeah, I think this would look unreal one. It feels amazing. There's no padding on this one, um, on the inside. But I think because it's such a tight fit, I think it will be okay. Well, we'll soon find out anyway. But yeah, it's a lot less bummy, which is good. Sometimes the bum can stay inside. Okay, so that's all for actual clothes clothes. So I got these as well. So this was my main reason for actually going. Um, obviously, I've got my surgery coming up. Um, that is in a few weeks now. Um, I've got a holiday before the surgery and then I've all, I'm also planning a holiday after the surgery. Um, so for that holiday after the surgery, I've been told that you actually have to keep the scar out the sun um, for at least two weeks, but I'm gonna try my best and keep it out the sun for as long as possible. Um, just cause I want it to heal good and I don't, wanna, I don't wanna have any trouble with it, if that makes sense. Um, so my main reason for going was to actually get silk scarves. Um, I just thought, 
do you know what make it fashion um so i was gonna get silk scarves and i was just gonna tie them around my neck on holidays whilst i'm sunbathing or walking around in the sun the scars not in the sun um i thought it was a brilliant idea but um yeah so i picked up these gorgeous silk scarves from tory birch they're absolutely amazing so this is the first one they're quite big so I'll try and hold them up so you can see the full pattern. Oh, I can't, so you've got that one. And you can also reverse it and wear it on the green side. So with these as well, they're quite big. So the lady in the shop did tell me that I could wear it as a top um, as well. So I could like maybe wear it as a top in the evenings, which would be amazing. I'm pretty sure how what you do is just you do that and you tie it around. So obviously a lot neater than what I've just done, but yeah, they are big enough to actually use as top. So I just think it's like, you've almost got three in one because you've got one pattern, another pattern, you can wear it around your neck, four in one. You could tie it around a bag and it looks lovely, or you can wear it as a top. So there you go. And I just thought it was just such a good idea. So that's the first pattern, which is gorgeous. Colorful, see you've got more color going on. God, that nearly went flying. So that's the first one. The second one is a little bit smaller. So this one can't be worn as a top, but that would just be like solely for my neck then. Um, or tying around like a little handbag or something like that. Like if I want to add a little bit of colour to maybe a plain bag. I think it always looks nice when they're tied on the handle, if you know what I mean. I haven't even got a bag to demonstrate. But when it's like that, like on the bag, I think it looks cute as well. Again, you've got this side, which is gorgeous. It's like brown and pink. And then you've got this side, which is like a goldy classic. It's given expensive. It looks nice. <laughs> um, and then here you've got Tory Burch detailing. It says it there. Um, but yeah, no, I just think it was gorgeous. So that had to get in my basket. Then I've got this one, which is a very classic Tory Burch print, um, the lady said. They've got like dresses and like really nice classic pieces in this print, which I just think is unreal. So this is, this is a big one like the other one. So that's it there. And then you turn it round. It hasn't, this, oh wait, this one is, isn't actually double-sided, but it kind of looks like it. It's not double-sided. Oh, is it double-sided? Oh no, it is double-sided. Okay, so yeah, if I'm feeling like a plain Jane one day and I just want to wear nudes and peaches, then I use this side, but I think this side is where the magic happens. And this one's so special. Look, it has little dingly danglies on the end, which I think is so cute on every corner. So, so lovely. What does it say on it? Tordi Manaj. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. It's just really nice. It's just really pretty. So this one can also be worn as a top or it can be worn around my neck or around the bag. So yeah, and both ways. You can't really go wrong. And then lastly, I've got this one. So this one is a different material to the rest. This one's a lot thicker. Um, it's less silky, if that makes sense. Um, but I just really loved the chocolate and the blue. I've always loved this color combo. This is how big this one is. I don't know if this one can be worn as a top. We'll try. Um, oh, yeah, it can. If you've got tiny, tiny, tiny little ladies like mine, then you can wear it as a top. Um, but I'm afraid you more blessed women probably won't be able to. But, um, yeah, like this one is double-sided. And, yeah, it's just basically that in reverse. Really, really nice. But this one can also be tied around my neck. I reckon this one will probably go around my neck. Maybe for a top, but we'll see. Yeah, so that was actually my main, main reason for going. Because I just thought, I want to really look after the scar and make sure it heals as well as it possibly can. I don't want to jeopardise it by, like, sunbathing on holiday for a week and maybe it... I don't know. I don't really know what happens. I don't know if it just makes the scar stay or makes the healing process longer or 
whatever it is. I'm not too, too sure. Um, I still am yet to ask about a thousand questions about it. But yes, yeah, so that was my main thing. So I thought, well, let's make it cute. Like, let's just get a nice scarf and wrap it around your neck. Um, and yeah, because I don't think I'll be able to wear like my necklaces and things like that, which is going to kill me because I've always got one on. Um, but health comes first. So I'm sure it'll be fine. And then this is the little magic one. So this is the jewellery. Obviously, you all know I'm sorry about obsessed with jewellery. Um, I'm wearing the necklace that I wore in the villa right now, which is the Miller Pav. Um, and, oh, before I open that, actually, I got these two bracelets whilst I was there. So I actually got the bracelet that matches my necklace. So it's the Miller Pav bracelet. Which, funnily enough, when I came out the villa, um, I tried to get it and it was out of stock. So I thought, oh my God, the necklace is out of stock and the bracelet. I was like, wow, like this has just gone mental. But um, it's now recently come back in stock, but they haven't got a lot left. So if I was you and you really wanted it, act fast. Um, the necklace, as I'm aware, is still out of stock. But they have told me they are restocking. There's a waiting list online. So maybe I'll drop the... Um, I'll drop the waiting list, basically the link to the Miller Pav necklace. Um, so I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Pave, Miller Pave. Um, anyway, I'll drop the link to the necklace so you can join the waiting list. And hopefully this is in stock for me to link as well. Um, and then I got this beautiful, beautiful bangle, which reminds me of a Cartier bangle, funnily enough, but obviously a lot more affordable because we like affordable around here. Um, and yeah, this is the bangle. Let me, it's different to the um, to the Cartier one. You can just clip it off. You don't need a screwdriver, which is probably a little bit easier, but it is just gorgeous. It's so, so nice and so, so solid as well. Once it's on, it's not coming off. So yeah, they're my first two. Then, also all the jewelry comes in these really, really cute little bags that I absolutely love. So I also got this bangle, which is just unreal. I don't know, I don't really know how people do that whole hand thing, but yeah, this is the bangle. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, I'll link them anyway, um, down below. Um, how do I open this one? I haven't, I haven't tried to get in this one yet. I'm guessing, ah, there we go. So you just put it apart where the logo is. It's gorgeous. It's pink. Oh, so I got some more colour. But it's a little pink, lovely gold bangle. That is literally just as sturdy as this one. So the only reason why I'm not wearing it is because it didn't really go in my outfit today. But the gold one just goes with everything. So that probably won't come off me now, like the necklace. Ah, oh, you're going to die. You're, everyone is going to love this. I cannot wait to wear this on a holiday. Even on a night out or like a nice dinner or a nice bar this oh oh no tangled it no i haven't this beautiful necklace oh my god it's so long and nice okay so i'm not sure how this is worn i need to maybe check on the side so i don't know if you double it up ignore my other necklace Oh, I think you double it up. Let me move the middle part that way. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is unreal. Oh, I love it. Or you can obviously just wear it once around your neck. I'm sure it won't be a crime. If you've got like a really low cut top and you want this to be the statement piece, like, it's just beautiful. It's so, so nice. When I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I'm in love. I need it. I need it. And it's obviously got the little toy birch sign there. And then these like diamonds. Well, not diamonds. Diamond, diamond, diamond? Diamond shape. Um, Yeah, so, so nice. Absolutely unreal. It doesn't actually tangle either, which is good because I have a pet hate for untangling necklaces. <laughs> I just can't do it. And then, ah, uh, and then last but not least, I've got these two. 
So this isn't actually jewellery, but it's accessories. So we'll just class it as the same thing. So everyone knows I love a claw clip. And when I walked into the store, they actually saw me. I had a claw clip in and they was like, oh my God, we do them now. And I was like, shut up, no way. Look at that claw clip. Oh my God. It's just so nice. I'll actually put it in now. I always, all I do is literally just put my hair in a claw clip all the time. Someone asked for a tutorial on this, but literally it's all I do is get my hair, wrap it around my fingers, and then that's it. Make sure the fringe is out, maybe a couple hairs. Sometimes it don't go right, it hasn't really gone right now. But look how nice, obviously ignore these fluffy bits. If I was doing it a little bit neater, then it probably wouldn't look like this, but I just think it's really, really cute. Like, who knew they'd done hair clips? They're more than just jewelry, I'll tell you that. I'm obsessed. And then I got another one. So this is a lovely green one. And I thought this would go amazing with the green side of this. Oh, ta-da. How nice. It's a perfect match and all. So it's a little outfit idea. Even if I wore it as a top in the evening and I had my hair up in a clip. Yeah. I'm here for it. I am here for it. Well, that is, we're at the end of the haul and I'm now surrounded by a mess. So, um, I hope you enjoyed it. I haven't actually gone on another shopping trip since I've been out, but I'm pretty sure I will be going on more shopping trips. And let me know if you enjoyed this one. Like maybe I need a better camera so you can actually see the products better, but I will link them all below. Um, don't hate me, this is my first haul. So I'm just trying my best. So um, yeah, let me know if you wanna see any more. Um, I'm always on my Instagram stories telling you guys what I'm doing anyway. So if I'm going on a shopping trip, you'll know about it. So if you wanna see what I've got, then just tell me, be like Sammy, put it on your stories or drop a YouTube video. We need a haul and I will do that for you. But um, yeah, that's basically it. I'm officially all Tory Birched out. Um, happy about it though. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And let me know when you, the, again, I cannot speak. Let me know what you want to see next. Okay, bye.